Let's talk a little bit more about creating a powerful intention so you can manifest something wonderful in your life. This is part two, so let's get started. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a certified law of attraction coach. And today this is part two of how to create powerful intentions. So this is where we're going to get into a little bit of the nitty gritty and give you some details on how to actually structure writing out those intentions. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below. I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, each one of them with the intention that you're going to be able to create something wonderful in your life. So, okay. So the first video we talked about getting clear on your end result and then create your intentions will basically create your themselves from that. And they will, but there's a couple things that we do need to know. The first thing that we need to be careful on is how we word our intentions or whatever words you choose to use. So whether it be I am or I know statements is when we word them, we want to state them in the positive, okay? So the reason for that is our subconscious mind does not hear negatives, okay? So if I was to say to you, don't think of a blue duck, you just thought of a blue duck, you may have added a yellow bill to it and some green feet or something, however, you still thought of a duck. The reason is, is every word that we say that gets our subconscious mind takes as a belief, it'll actually create a mental image of, OK, so our words are always creating a visualization in our subconscious mind that our subconscious mind is going to go create for us. OK, so it's so incredibly important that we state them in the positive. OK, so let's say one of your goals is to be healthy. OK, we want to avoid saying something like. I don't want to be sick anymore. OK, uh uh. That isn't going to fly. It had a, a do not, right? That's going to create a picture of being sick. So we want to say, I intend to be perfectly healthy. And you know what? Even get more specific than that. What do you want to be perfectly healthy? I intend for my back to be strong and healthy. Okay, get specific on what you want. So state it in the positive. Get as specific as you want on what you want to create because you're actually going to be creating a mental image of that in your head and then it's going to show up and be projected out into your 3D world. Okay, so another way to uh, to do it would be also is I like to use definite words. Okay, so let's say, for instance, um, you know, uh, I've got Jerry doll here and I want my boyfriend Jerry to message me every day and ask me how my day is, right? So I would also say something like, you know what? I intend for Jerry to always text message me every day. And I intend for Jerry to always ask me how my day was. Okay, so I'll use words like always because they're very powerful because I always want him to do it. And then I'm being specific because I'm saying, well, I want him to ask me how my day is. So, you know, we can't really say, oh, well, I intend for Jerry to text message me every day and then all of a sudden be disappointed because his messages are just like one word messages. Well, did we state that we wanted them to be, you know, about asking how my day is and showing interest in me? No. So we need to ask for it. So we want to make sure our intentions are stated in the positive. So what we actually want, I intend to be rich. I intend to be how happy. I intend to be healthy and then be specific. I intend to make $10,000 a month. I intend for Jerry to always tell me that I'm beautiful, right? Okay. And, um, you know, I intend for my back to be healthy and strong. I intend for my knees to be strong and healthy. Okay, so we want to make them as specific as possible and also stated in the positive. Now you can make general ones. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's fine. You know, people are always nice to me. I like that, you know, but just know that, you know, if things are only showing up halfway, it's better to add some specific ones in there. Okay, so, you know, for instance, you know, um, my boyfriend always does nice things for me. Okay, well, then all of a sudden I realized that, you know, it, he didn't, you know, make dinner for me the other night. And I'm like, oh, 
He's not being very nice to me or something, right? He took the blanket or he didn't make dinner. Okay, well, fine. Then I intend for my boyfriend to always make dinner and share the blanket with me. Okay. So we want to make sure that when something's showing up in our reality that we don't like, that we have have created a specific intention about it, because sometimes a general intention may not cover it. So when in doubt, and if you really, really, really want something, make it a specific intention. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. Throw a few general ones out there. Why not? You know what? The thing is, right, as long as you're focusing on what you want and what you want to show up rather than what you don't want to show up then you're on the right track and your life is going to be a whole lot better than if you're focusing on the opposite of what you want. Anyways, yeah, that's the end of the two-part series. Me and Jerry, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And yeah, thanks so much for everything. And you guys are wonderful. So Jerry intends that you are going to create something wonderful in your life today. Until the next video, see you later. Bye-bye.